guys, hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be playing essentially a little bit of Punishing Grave Raven and talking about why you guys should be excited to play this game. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for you guys. Just before we quickly start though, I do have a bit of a new recording method. I am using like a really cheap, cheap capture card, which actually works like really, really well for what it is. It was literally like $15, I got it off Amazon and like... As you can see, it works relatively well. It does 60 FPS capture, which is more than what I want. It is unfortunately 720p, but for a mobile device gameplay, it doesn't look half bad. And I'm putting up with it, and it's better than what I thought it was. So anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to keep on using this. I'm going to be recording from my actual, like, uh, tablet now, which is the Samsung Tab 7 I'm going to be doing this for all future videos, because I actually really like to. I prefer to play games on my tablet. I do like emulators, but I prefer to play games on my tablet. Anyways, so, a couple reasons why you should be really excited for this game. First things first, it's story. It's got a really good story, it's dark, it's depressing, but it's also really good. So you'll enjoy it. Obviously I can't understand it, but there are people playing the global uh, closed beta at the moment that are playing through the story and I've been watching them. The story is really good. Fortunately I didn't get into the closed beta test, sad. Second thing is the graphics are honestly really amazing and it looks a bit worse on the with the capture card on there, but the character models, like goddamn. God damn, do they look good. Like, holy crap. They're, they're so well designed. They look awesome. The skill effects, the graphics, the level designs, the enemies, everything looks amazing in this game graphically. Two, uh, sorry, the reason number three, honestly, the combat, which I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm just going to jump into story mission up to the progress I'm playing at the moment, uh, which I think I'm actually done with this chapter now. Hold on. I'm going to go back and clear one of the uh, missions that I missed up, messed up at the start. So we're going to go back in here. I'm going to show you guys what the combat like. Basically, think of it like this. I hate comparing it to Honokai Impact, but it's effectively Honokai Impact's combase of oh, combase oh, no, combat, no, but a lot faster, and that's why it's honestly really, really enjoyable. And I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Now, sorry if it looks like I'm looking down at the screen, and sorry if I fumble a little bit. I'm um, a little new to recording on my tablet, so we'll see how things gonna go. Apologies if I'm looking down at the time; it's just gonna how can be how it is. But honestly, the combat is like amazing. And this character I've got right now, I don't actually know her name. She is so much fun to play. I can't wait for global release. Global release should actually be theoretically be coming really, really soon. Because uh, the thing with the closed beta test is all they're really doing is doing a little bit of light changes to the game, obviously, and then really just patching the game for English. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that. Maybe there will be more changes when it comes to global. But realistically, the game's already made. The game is already made. They just need to um, release it, to, like get the English uh, translation working, and then the game's ready to go. Um, so it's going to be pretty awesome. I reckon the game is going to be out relatively soon, believe it or not. And when it is, once it is, um, I will be playing it on this uh, my channel very much so. Um, so if you guys want to see that when it comes out, definitely come back here and check out the channel. We'll be live streaming at day one, basically. As you can see, the combat is awesome. Like it is so good. Oh, uh, we're going to activate these little things. Um, but yeah, the game is honestly really, really great. I I'm enjoying playing it. I'm playing just with the Thai uh, Taiwanese version right now. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you guys want to join uh, and play the non-global version if you didn't get into the beta. But this game is honestly awesome and I'd highly recommend anyone that wants to check it out. It it's honestly really great. Now, the fourth reason is um, effectively there's a lot of combat or gameplay variety in this game, which is really, really good. Um, there's a ton of different modes. As you can see, there's lots of stuff to do. Resource grinds, everything. There's tons of different stuff to do with this game. And honestly, it's a really, really good game in terms of writing content and what you're going to be doing. Now, I don't have enough to do uh, a gacha pull at the moment, so I'm just trying to find it. Can't read it. Um, so I'm just doing enough to... I don't have enough to do a gacha pull right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do just a single summons, and I do have some currency to do that. I'm just going to do a single summon just to show you what the animation is like. Um, we didn't get anything here, I don't think. Uh, no, we just got a stigmata. So basically, that's what the gacha summoning animation is like. From what I can tell, the game gives you a lot of premium currency relatively for free. You don't have to do anything for it. So this game seems relatively free to play friendly. As you can see, this currency up here is your stanima. You get tons of stanima refreshes, at least at this point in the game. I don't know how that's going to be in global. But you get so many stanima refreshes. So stanima so far, up to the point I played, up to level 36. No issue at all. Um, honestly, it's really great for that regard. Uh, but yeah, the game is honestly just super enjoyable and super fun. Now, I'm going to jump into another combat mission. I believe I have to go to the hard version of this one now, which I've unlocked. Yep. 
Cool. Uh, so we're just gonna jump in here. We're gonna do some hard combat missions and see if you guys kind of go for it. All right. I'm a little under leveled actually, which is surprising. I thought I would get up quite a bit. Oh, okay. I'm very close. I reckon I can take that. I can take that. I can. Yeah, I can do that. It's like 2,200 on my 2,175. That's relatively easy. Sorry, I keep on doing that. I don't mean to keep on doing that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, did not want to do that. Put him back on the team. Sorry. All right. So let's just jump in, and obviously we're not going to be doing the story because I can't understand a word of it. I'll understand it when it gets global, and I'm very keen for that when it gets to global. But this is a game you definitely want to be keeping on your radar. It's just so... The game is so polished, and honestly, like, it runs on potato hardware. Even though I'm running it on, like, a really good uh, device. I used to run it on, like, one of my older devices. Uh, obviously, you can't be complete potato, but it's really well optimized. The game is super polished, super fun to play. And has a really good daily like gameplay kind of loop that honestly I really really enjoy. Um, I'm not going to use the other characters in this level, honestly. Uh, sorry, because um, they're a little bit under geared for this. this uh, the character I'm playing right now is the only one I can really play for this level of content. As you can see, the two little uh, other character icons over here, I can switch off to them. Uh, they can kind of do it, but they're a little bit uh, under leveled for the content that <laughs> I'm up to at this point. Alrighty. But honestly, I'm uh, this new capture card thing I got for $18. Like, come on, guys. 720p 60fps, 1080p 30fps, I'm recording at 720p 60fps. You gotta admit, for the, the, the price that I paid for it, this is really good. Like, it actually does a really good job. And honestly, it's so much better, like, capturing gameplay just through actually playing on my mobile device. I prefer it so much more than playing on an emulator. It just feels so much more, like, uh, natural. So I really, really do enjoy that. Now, I don't know what I'm doing right here. This is, like, a little weird little thing where we're playing as this dude. Um... Kind of interesting. So I will be doing gameplay on my phone, but also on my tablet, which is what I'm playing on right now. In the future, I'm going to be doing a My Hero Academia video today as well. I'm going to be uh, playing, um, doing a Deku Combat Guide video. So stay tuned for that, guys, if that's something you want to listen to. Uh, it probably might not come out today. It might come out tomorrow, but I will be recording it regardless today. Um, and having, having some fun with that. Oh, that was a cool ability. This guy kind of plays weird. His attacks are a little slow. I don't know whether I really like that. It's, it's okay, though. He's not too bad. All right. So, are we done? Is that the mission over? Yeah, that's the mission. So we, as you can see, by the gold text here. Uh, sorry, you can't see where I'm tapping. There's the gold text next to, in like, the right in the middle of the screen. That shows that we three-starred that level. Uh, and as you can see, the blue dots there as well. I don't know why my touch markers aren't usually coming up. They're usually uh, touch markers, I think. Oh. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely keep this game on your radar. It's one I would highly, highly recommend. It'll be coming out very, very soon. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. And I'll see you guys in another video another time. I'll have another video out, uh, basically, uh, once the game gets an official release date. I'll make a video on that and let you guys know from there. Anyways, guys, have a good one. See you later.